When I woke up this morning, my phone was going off the hook in the homestand group chat. And I'm wondering, what's going on here? We saw one of our buddies, Tom, sent us this video. Good morning, guys. I'll get to the point right away. I'm retiring for good. I know the process uh, was a pretty big deal last time. So when I woke up this morning, I figured I'd just press record and let you guys know first. So. I uh, won't be long-winded. Like you only get one super emotional retirement essay, and I used mine up last year. So I uh, really thank you guys so much to every single one of you for supporting me. My family, my friends, my teammates, my competitors. Uh, I could go on forever. There's too many. Um, thank you guys for allowing me to live my absolute dream. I wouldn't change the thing. Love you all. The GOAT, Tom Brady, not in our group chat, that was just a joke, by the way, in case you're living under a rock, retired. Uh, one of the greatest football players, maybe the greatest football player of all time. Before we get into maybe the greatest athlete of all time, mm -hmm. what happens next with him, what's going on with the QB situation in the NFL, Jelani, tell me what this means to you. I mean, the guy's been playing my whole life, right? I, I'm going to be real. 2000 shout out to you Tom we came in the same year all right but for me he's done so much for the NFL like he's done so much the winning mm -hmm. the way that he's changed the league he's such he's such a great figure in the you know the whole universe of sports right you're talking about the greatest athletes of all time Tom is right there and I think he's definitely changed the quarterback position um and for me it's just you have to put it into context what he's done Right, all the winning that he did, he has more championships than every any franchise. You know yeah. that that's insane. You don't see that in professional no. sport, right? He had all the records, all the records you can name off as Tom Brady, right? And I think the longevity, the the way that he's been able to stay healthy. Obviously, he had that one ACL year, but he's been able to stay healthy and play at a high level, right? Mm -hmm. So that I don't think we're gonna see this anymore mm -hmm. right? in terms of the NFL. Maybe guys will try to play in their 40s because of Tom, but from what we saw. From the start, you know, he wasn't a highly touted prospect at all. Mm -hmm. You know, from Michigan, fell in the draft, found his way. Of course, Bledsoe will have to get hurt, but found his way one time after time after time. And he managed to have a great career. And he played long, 23 years yeah. of this. Like, come on. Yeah, look at these rings. numbers. Seven-time Super Bowl champion, five-time Super Bowl MVP, three-time NFL MVP, winning his QB in NFL history. This time last year, 2022, Tom Brady did the exact same thing. Why should we believe that he's actually retiring this time? So here's my theory. I'll tell, I, I I tell you what my theory. <laughs> so Tom Brady retires February 1st, 2022, comes back. Was it 60 days later, mm. right? This is the biggest thing, I think, with Tom Brady. If he can survive reti being retired past the draft, no. he's staying retired. And he's staying not, retired. If, if not, not, he's coming back. <laughs> if he if he if he sees, you know, Bro. the Dolphins making moves, the Raiders making moves, I am sure. Owners will be and gyms will be reaching out to Tom. Like, hey, like <laughs> you, last year you yeah. said you retired, right, right, you didn't right. really. Like, come on, how are you serious about retiring? And Tom Brady, we know him. He's exactly like Michael Jordan. He doesn't have a gambling problem. He's got a competition problem. Absolutely. And Tom Brady, if he gets that itch to compete again. Look, as sad as it is, his personal life fell apart because he went back to football. But now he has like he's divorced. He can he doesn't yeah. have Giselle to worry about anymore, right? So. Look, if Tom Brady wants to go back and play, he can go back and play. And he has those relationships with the Dolphins. With Brass. the Dolphins. He has relationships with McDaniels. And the four I keep bringing no, up the 49ers. No, I keep bringing up the man. You never but know. They might be like, know. yo, Tom. Yeah, you Why never not? know. But personally, I think this is but it, I think based it's it. on yeah. what I've seen. The and it's not like he's the sentimental back. beach video he posts yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it's it's not like he's falling back onto nothing. He signed a 10-year deal with Fox worth $375 million. I mean... When you talk about competition, that's a great point to come up with. I think he'll want to be become the best NFL analyst. And obviously, yeah. Fox believes that he can do that. Yeah. Um, we could talk about retirement. We could talk about where he can still play and if he's going to come back. But I think maybe it's just time to celebrate this person's career. Mm -hmm. And not only as the greatest NFL player of all time, but potentially, I don't know where he ranks for you, Jelani, but maybe the greatest North American athlete ever. It's tough. I still have Jordan in that, you know, if you're asking me, but he's okay, definitely... Let's do a, a quick, right off there. the top, North American Mount Rushmore. North American Mount athletes. Rushmore. So you got... Yeah, definitely Michael. MJ. Has to be there. That's a goal. Brady. Brady. Serena. And... Uh, Gretzky. 
Gretzky. Yeah, I mean, Bo Jackson you can throw in there too. Little 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 what I'm just trying to say is, is that this, that's guy, a, this guy's sport. carved out not only a, a fantastic football mm-hmm. career, but this is a, a guy who was drafted. Not even close to sixth round. thinking that he had the potential yeah. of doing what he's done. He wasn't even a full-time starter in Michigan. Like, Drew right. Henson and him were splitting right. time. And I think what – there will never be, never, ever, 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 ever be a sixth-round quarterback drafted 199th overall, come into the NFL – and have the type of career, even half of the career of Tom Brady. Yeah. People were getting on Brock Purdy for being Mr. Irrelevant and, ha- and winning couple, five straight games. Right. He's not Tom Brady. What we saw from Tom Brady over the last 23 seasons yeah. will never be seen again, never be duplicated. The fact that this guy was able to reinvent himself as a game manager to a guy that put up a whole bunch of stats. Remember, of course, 07 with Randy Moss shattering every record to then becoming just the offense. Yep. Right, he was the offensive coordinator. He was the you know basically the, the running the offense himself at the end of his career and doing it in especially and in New England with spare parts. Then he goes to Tampa and he proves everybody, hey, I can do it without the Patriot way. Now this past season kind of fell mm-hmm. on flat on his face, kind of like Jordan with the Wizards. Mm-hmm. But well, it's all said and done. There's no question. Tom Brady's the greatest football player. He had like lived. three careers. He did three great careers that anyone would want. His twenties, his thirties, yeah. and his forties. And, and at each of those times, he was the best player. It's, mm-hmm. it's true. And so when I think about you know, go conversation, greatest of, all, greatest of all time, there's two things that I really think of: consistency and longevity. And it's that means more than the trophies. Yeah. Like he's been around for. So look what LeBron's doing right now. Very similar. Um, okay, so let's talk about the NFL. Uh, without Tom Brady. What does this do, Justin, for the QB merry-go-round that's, that's going to happen well, in the offseason? Now Tampa Bay's a player in this. Because if you think about it, yes, they struggled this year, but they were riddled with injuries. Now, does that mean a guy like Derek Carr, a Jimmy Garoppolo, one of those guys that can slot into Tampa Bay because you still got Mike Evans, you still got Chris Godwin, you still got, you know, we'll see what happens with Leonard Fournette. But there's still a squad in Tampa Bay, and that division's very weak, right? And if I'm the Buccaneers, I'm trying to go in all on Derek Carr because I think if Derek Carr goes to Tampa, he's got a defense there that he's never really had in, in a, for the Raiders his whole career, and he's got weapons. I would love to see Derek Carr play in Tampa Bay. Jelani, with uh, Brady seemingly off the board now, who's the hottest commodity? at quarterback in the NFL? I mean, well, if you want to say Aaron Rodgers, because we don't know what's going on mm. with that situation, right? Is he available? Is he not? So I'd say Rodgers if he is available, right? But then you're talking about down the list, there's Jimmy Garoppolo. He's still lurking right now, this this market. Mm. A lot of teams are going to be after him in the market. But yeah, I'd say Aaron Rodgers. But just touching on that point, that previous point, Tampa needs to find a way to stay afloat. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can't you can't go back to what they were before. So yes, you bring a, another quarterback in the door. Also Derek Carr mm-hmm. uh, for sure. But yeah, bring a quarterback in the door because the NFC is wide open. Okay, you're looking at the AFC versus the NFC. It's a whole new Absolutely. it's a whole new thing. You know, because there's no one in the NFC right now aside from Jalen Hurts. Can we be honest with ourselves? Aaron Rodgers, we, again, we don't know what's going to happen, mm-hmm. right? So Tampa, if they get a guy in the door, you never know because there's there's teams on the come up, right? But they're not there yet, right? Mm-hmm. San Francisco, they have a whole carousel of quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. So to me right now, the only sure bet right now is the Eagles at quarterback, right? So I think they should really look at that. But when you're talking about the market, Aaron Rodgers, we'll see what happens. Derek Carr for sure, because I think he's a good quarterback. Yeah. Derek Carr is definitely mm-hmm. a good quarterback. And then Jimmy G. And we got to talk about playoff proven guys. And I think out of all of those, Aaron Rodgers may be that guy. And listen to this. This is from ESPN Stats and Info. Blew my mind. Tom Brady's playoff career, okay? Him against the next closest. Over 13,000 pass yards. The next closest, just over 7,000. Passing mm-hmm. touchdowns, 88 to 45. Wins, 35 to 16. Super Bowl wins, 7 to 4 more than any other team in NFL history. I think we should just wrap this up with a quick little applause for Tom Brady, one of the GOATs, the greatest NFL player of all time, retires today.